Stitch family and welcome to another haul. A haul that I don't think we've done before. I don't think we've done a Shop Disney haul and that's what we're doing today. In this uh, very ginormous box, we have a haul from Shop Disney and let me tell you, I can't even remember when I ordered it. It's been sitting around for a good bit. <laughs> I have wanted to look at these things for a while now and I know some of them are really cute and squishy and I can't wait to squish them and open them and and just love on them. But actually, let me delay a wee bit longer um, because if you've got that itch for Stitch and you want to be a fellow Stitch cousin, then hit that Stitch. <laughs> This is a Stitch channel. I can stay say Stitch a bazillion times, okay? And it's on brand. Um, so let's get into this box because I just want to squish some things. Alrighty, so the very first thing that I would like to snuggle right now is this here. And it's kind of setting the stage for some of the items that we got in this haul. Um, I think we got some of these things on sale, I'm pretty sure. I try not to pay full price on Shop Disney. Most of the time Shop Disney will eventually put things on sale, but because I have a YouTube channel and I want to be on trend all the time, I got to be paying that full price. It's annoying. Okay. Oh, also I'm wearing the green because I'm like, it was not really on purpose. It just kind of happened, but I've got some, some pineapple theming. I got my pineapple earrings and my pineapple clip. Um, just because pineapples, Hawaii stitch. There you go. All right. This one is has been, I think is my first of this kind of item. I'm just delaying all the way through here, okay? It is the Stitch Cuddlies. Let's take him out, he's so cute. So the first Cuddlies I've ever come across was the, oh my God, what's the name of that Cuddlies? The Wampa. It's the Wampa from Star Wars that we got my husband, which has actually be become like my cat's Wampa. Um, she like, or at least used to snuggle it and lay on it. So I know just how soft they are and I love the size of them. They can come even bigger. I think this is the large, right? I'm pretty sure this is the large. Anyway, here he is. It's like, it's like the OG one. I think this is the, the kind of main one. I mean, there are a lot of variants, but it's like sleeping stitch. He's got his little eyes closed. Like, look how big this is compared to my head. I just put his butt right up to my head there. Um, I just love that his eyes are closed. They are so soft. Um, they have that like Squishmallow feel to them. I don't know if Cuddly's is like an off brand of Squishmallow or they work together, but it feels like the same fabric. I just want to pet him and squish him. Look at him. He's so happy. He, he's perfect for sleeping with. I do know, I think I've heard some people say um, that if you lay on them for like a good bit, they will flatten out. I mean, that just is the nature of things. So I probably won't squish him too much, but when I need a good Cuddlies, I will cuddle this, cuddlies him. <laughs> he's so cute. So yeah, he's really setting the stage for what is to come because he's not the only um, like plush that I got from Shop Disney. I, I, I don't even know at this point, the plushes are becoming my largest collection so far. Um, and I don't even know what my favorite is because I love them all. So maybe we stick with the plushes. We have two more plushes. Let's do this cutie pie. I don't know what they're calling it. Wow, you take up a lot of space, pal. I'm just gonna call it Baby Stitch. I don't know what they actually call it. This is the first thing I've ever come across that is anything baby oriented that I actually found adorable. And it's this plush, like Baby Stitch. He's wrapped in, what would you call this? Stitch plush in swaddle, apparently is what it's called. So um, he's been swaddled. <laughs> I can't say I've ever swaddled before. Um, and this might be the first time I'm saying swaddle. So there you go. But isn't he cute? So they have two variations of this. They have the stitch one, which I have, and they have the angel one. And if you can't tell, they changed up the color like a little bit. Um, they went for more of a lighter color, like pastel-y stitch. And that's true of the angel one. I wasn't as big of a fan of the color difference on the angel one. And I do prefer stitch over angel. I'm always gonna pick st stitch over angel. Um, but I didn't mind this like lighter pastel-y version. And he's just so cute. And this swaddly situation does come off. I'm afraid if I take it off, I won't know how to re-swaddle him. <laughs> so it just like, um, there's Velcro here and then you just, imagine if it was that easy. And then I love how it goes over his ears. So you would just take it out over his ears. I'm not gonna take it off cause I don't trust myself to, he does have his full head of hair right there. <laughs> this tiny bit that is on the top, but how cute is he? And just for size comparison, I mean, this is the large cuddlies 
And this is the Baby Stitch in Swaddle. And he's really, really soft. His hands are also um, like very lightly, like one singular stitch um, onto his like chest. So they stay there. Really cute. I kind of wish those were Velcroed so you can move them around a little bit, but it's fine. I'm just going to be setting him up. Um, oh, but let me show you. He's got like the pattern itself. We got a little stitchy face. We've got the leaves. We got scrump. Um, a couple different versions of Stitch. So cute. Maybe they should do like a swaddle for Build-A-Bear or a onesie, a Stitch onesie for Build-A-Bear. I mean, technically I got a Stitch onesie. It was more of a jumper, I feel like. We need a little hood that covers his ears. Can Build-A-Bear do that, please? Um, if you're watching, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, the last plush. And I think I like it more than this one just because baby stuff tends to be on the bottom for me, but I really like that one as well. I think it's called Bigfoot Stitch, if I'm remembering right, because he has some big feet. He also has big ears and he's so soft. I could tell from the photo that he was gonna be soft, but like he's even softer in person. So they basically like went over the top with the ears. Look at him, whoa. And they have like some sort of um, uh, like flat, backing, I, I don't know, underneath to keep the structure of the ears, but I like how they still like bow over. So it makes him look extra cute, but he's got the extra large feet. How cute are those feet? They're like Bigfoot feet. So I think that's why he's called Bigfoot. Wait, how many toes? Okay, he does have four toes. I was like, is that accurate? <laughs> I was checking my cuddlies. Can you tell how soft he is? So it's a, it's a pretty decent length of his fur. So it's just a lot to like pet and squish. And his hands are not stitched together, so you can move those around. Look at him, and for size comparison, he's a tiny bit bigger, I think, than the baby one. But you can now see like how the colors, how cute, how cute are you? How the colors are different. And I like having variation because I'm gonna end up with a lot, end up, I already have a lot of um, stitch plushies. I really like this, even his nose is kind of extra large. It just makes him look really sweet extra cute. Does it get cuter? Oh my god. Okay, so those are the three plushes that I got from Shop Disney. I feel like almost every time I order something I end up getting a wearable because, um, you know, we started this channel with no stitch things. Well, that's not true. I started it and I had a whole bunch of stuff lined up in my bedroom um, and it's still sort of there, <laughs> including some Christmas things. Speaking of which, we may have a plushy Christmassy thing that we found that I'm so excited to show you, but we will wait until we are closer to Christmas time. But yeah, I always get some sort of wearable because we're just building up that attire. I want to be able to dress stitchy all year round. And this one it will be really good for summer because the color is yellow, which is really nice. We don't find like yellow apparel in the stitch world. We get a lot of blue and pink, which I don't mind, um, but we're getting that in the design. And he's surfing. It says stitch. It's very like Hawaii. It says Aloha and he's on a surfboard. And it's a very like pastel -y color, kind of uh, faded. So let's put this on right now. Well, there we go. We get it on and it gives a lot more brightness than what I was wearing. And I feel like it even works with the pineapples a whole lot more. We got the yellow going on. Really, really cute. I think this was a size medium, if that helps anybody. It's normally the size I go with because I like things a touch loose. Um, so there's the apparel. And one more wearable, um, I think. You would have seen another similar item in a short. If not, you will be seeing it, um, but not quite the same. It is a headband, but on this headband is a little flower. Okay, apparently it is called a plumeri plumeria flower. I'm gonna guess it's native to Hawaii, um, but it's really cute. I like that it's different and it definitely goes with the shirt I'm wearing because it's yellow. So it stitches ears. Um, like I said, you would have seen probably a similar item. If not, you will see a similar item, but it's different because it's got this little flower on it. I don't remember how much it was. As always with everything, I will link it all down below. I believe everything is still available. Shop Disney does keep their stuff around. It's more of the seasonal stuff that will go away, I believe, after a point. So let's put these on. Are we looking cute? I just put it right over my clip, but that's okay. Are they bendable? They're not bendable, but they're very structured. Um, I would assume these are probably one of the cheaper things that we got. But yeah, I feel like 
It works, and if ever, whenever, I definitely plan to eventually go back to Disneyland and Disney World, all the Disney places. Um, and I'd love to wear this little headband. Maybe we need to get some um, stitch, like, ears, like Mickey-type ears as well. That would be cool. All right, the last item is such a cute item. And although I'm gonna be putting all of my stitch stuff in one room, and like I've mentioned in previous videos, I really want to show you it will take time to get everything in that room to get furniture to be able to afford it <laughs> you know it takes money to do these things um and this is a kitchen item so it will but i feel like it's something that could fit in the room and you would just have around anyway when you're eating food i can't be contained it is a salt and pepper shaker and it's so cute it is stitch and angel i don't know which one's the salt and which one's the pepper like who Who's salty? They made Stitch very salty, which makes sense because <laughs> Angel is much sweeter. How cute is he? Look at, he's got his like sleepy eyes, almost like the, the cuddlies right here. It's really well made. I don't know if I shared this yet, but I do have a clip going to Home Goods and finding a salt and pepper shaker there. And I'll tell you the detail, like the price is, is much, well, not much, but it was more affordable. But the detail on the Shop Disney one is so much better. Um, so I rather pay a little bit more and get a better quality item. Um, but there are cheaper options out there. You just have to visit. So look at him. So he's got the little hole to put your salt in there. And then we've got the two holes on the top. He's so happy. He's adding some salty goodness to your food. And then to pair with him, we've got Miss Angel. Miss Adorable Angel as the pepper. And she's also got her eyes kind of closed. And yeah, the paint job's really nice. We've got that nice heart shape on the back of her. So cute and the little zigzag up here. So here they are together um, and they are ceramic. So these are gonna last a good while, but you see what I mean about like, I feel like um, even though I'm not putting stitch things in my kitchen, um, cause the rest of my house is Harry Potter. Go check out that channel. If you like Harry Potter, I have another channel. Um, I think these can just sit in a room cause I'll be eating everywhere. I love food. Okay. So I'll have a salt and pepper shaker ready to go. All right, let's talk favorite items. Oh, <sighs> I don't know what to pick on the plushes. The plushes are going to be at the top. From anybody that's coming from my Harry Potter, Harry Potter channel, you would know that I love plushes. I love anything that's cute and cuddly and squishy. Um, so when I'm feeling any form of anxiety or loneliness or anything that human beings feel occasionally, um, I can cuddle something. So I don't know what my favorite is. I really, really like the Bigfoot one. I mean, no doubt the cuddlies one is like it's hard to match because of the size and the feel, but I also sometimes just like something a little smaller and it's kind of medium size, it's very huggable. So I feel like if I had to pick, it would be this one over the baby one, but I like the uniqueness of this one as well. Just the plushes are my top, okay? Let me know in the comments if you're a big plush fan um, like me. What else did we get? I like the shirt. But yeah, I think these guys are gonna be on the top for me. Um, I'd love to know in the comments down below, well, what stitch plushies do you have? What's your favorite plush? And what is your favorite item in this haul here from Shop Disney? And yes, I will be doing more Shop Disney hauls. We'll be getting into Christmassy things. Um, I just keep my eyeballs out whenever Shop Disney drops some stitchy things. Um, so if you know any new things, let me know about those as well. But until next time, my fellow Stitch cousins, remember to stay weird and be wacky. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.